Dear anxiety, when they ask me what I'm afraid of, I lie. I can never tell the truth about you. I can never share my stories exposing you. You are the reason why I lie. You are that little voices that mess in my head while I cry. You stick with me at times when I'm down. You tell me the bad things that I do not wish to hear. But you are that bad thing to me. I'm not you, and I do not want to be you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Health and Education Show. So, they are here to talk about a very trending issue which is mental illness. First of all, I would like to ask Dr. Azim. Dr. Azim, can you explain what is mental illness? Thank you for the question. So basically, mental illness is a general term that refers to a group of illness. It is a behavioral or mental pattern that causes significant distress or impairment of personal functioning. Based on American Psychiatric Association, mental disorder or psychiatric disorder is also referred to these health problems. Well, alright. So, any other opinion from you, Dr. Hanis? Uh, okay, to add uh, a mental illness is a health problem that significantly affects on how a person feels, thinks, behaves, or even interacts with other people. It is diagnosed according to standardized criteria by a mental health professional. Such features may be persistence, relapsing and remitting, or occur as a single episode. Thank you, Dr. for making it clear. So, before we end this, I have one last question for Dr. Zipa. Alright, Dr. Zipa, can you explain if mental health is the same as mental illness? Um, actually, no. Mental health refers to the emotional and psychological state, our social well-being, and how we feel about ourselves and interact with others. Hence, mental health is not the same as mental illness, although poor mental health could lead to mental and physical illnesses. There you go folks, a brief description or explanation about what exactly is mental illness. So to go deeper into this topic, let's see the statistical view, the symptoms and how to overcome it. Let's see. This chart here represents the latest estimates of common mental health disorder and substance use disorder in Malaysia. Here we have the results recorded from year 1990 till year 2017, with seven types of common mental illness. It is shown that the largest number of people in Malaysia had an anxiety disorder, estimated at around 4% of the population. So now, it's most common symptoms of anxiety and panic attacks. So the first one is sudden rise body temperature. The body attempts to handle the rush of stress and adrenaline resulting in fluctuating temperature. The more severe the anxiety, the worse the changes are. It is common for individuals to sweat or shake the same way they would if they had a fever. Body temperature will rise greatly from its normal in a sudden, and this sudden rise will cause your body temperature to change and lead to heat intolerance. Second symptom of anxiety and panic attacks is chest pain. Chest pain and a widely pounding heart are often mistaken as heart attack symptom. When feelings of numbness and tingling occur, as well, it is difficult to tell the difference sometimes. The main difference is the symptoms instantly begin to disappear the person's heart. Nausea and dizziness Dizziness is a common symptom of anxiety stress, and dizziness can result if one is experiencing anxiety. On the other hand, dizziness can be anxiety-producing. 
This often comes with nausea or other forms of abdominal distress. The next symptom is overwhelming feelings. Panic attack often make individuals feel overwhelmed and as if they are losing control. They might feel they are suddenly going crazy. Their panic attack causes them to doubt their own mind and abilities. This symptom may not obvious to anyone except the individuals affected. The fifth symptom is shortness of breath. Anxiety, whether acute and situational or a chronic disorder, can cause you to feel short of breath. Anxiety or panic attacks can sometimes be mistaken for a heart attack. But you don't have to experience a full-blown attack to feel short of breath. Low-level anxiety can cause this too. When you short of breath, you might feel like you can't get enough air into your lungs and you can't do it quickly enough. It may seem as though you are running short on oxygen. It may be more difficult to inhale and exhale. Sometimes you might be compelled to draw a breath before you even finish the last exhale. Exercise may improve our mental health by helping our brain to cope better with stress. Physically, active people may have lower rates of anxiety and depression than normal people. Healthy adults need between 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep per night. Lack of sleep may play a key role in activating brain regions that contribute to excessive worrying, which may lead to anxiety disorders. If you're feeling breathless during the anxiety attack, Try this 4 times 4 breathing technique. A good breathing technique will provide enough oxygen to your body and it will help alleviate the symptom and you will feel calm. And don't forget to think happy thoughts. Try this yoga too and it will help you. Visit this patch at this patch too. 4 second inhale, 4 second hold, 4 second exhale and 4 second hold. Number 1. Limit or avoid alcohol and caffeine which can cause anxiety after eating. Opt for green tea which contains theanine, an anti-anxiety and gives calming effect. Number 2. X. Eat protein so your blood glucose level stays steady. Number 3. Avoid sugary snacks and beverages. Choose complex carbs that boost the calming brain chemical serotonin. Number 4. Yogurt contains helpful bacteria that increase happiness. Also, chia seeds are high in omega-3. Dark chocolate has high tryptophan content, which the body uses to turn into mood-enhancing neurotransmitter. Omega-3 fatty acid improves the brain and effective in reducing symptoms of depression. Lastly, stay hydrated. Dehydration can cause mood change. <laughs>